Composting going fully curbside for all New Yorkers soon, meaning the city will pick up food scraps separate from trash and recycling. Why? <laughs> well, aside from fighting the war on rats. But the rats don't run the city. We do. There's an environmental reason, too. Food waste emits a massive amount of methane gas from landfills, the equivalent of more than 13 million gas-powered cars on the road for a year, according to the EPA, impacting global warming. But less than one in 10 households in the U.S. have access to such curbside programs, about half of which are in California, where it's now required for towns to provide organic waste collection. So if you're trying to be conscious about your footprint, what do you do with your food waste? Really... It's a problem that starts in your kitchen. A number of companies. It's a convenient alternative to composting. Trying to fill the gap, like Lomi. Lomi can compost your food waste all at the push of a button. And Vitamix. Meat, bones, pits, shells. The new grinding system has the ability to process all of that into a really fine, nutrient-rich soil amendment. Advertising these so-called countertop composters. And while Vitamix doesn't say on its own website that it's device compost, Product descriptions at retailers like Crate and Barrel say it creates garden-ready compost. But experts disagree. They're not, you know, totally bad. They're just not composters. Soil scientists like Virginia Lamb say the products instead simply dehydrate the food waste and grind it up. While that can help deodorize your food scraps, calling it composting, the natural process of decomposing organic matter, is a stretch. Well, it might seem like a, a, a minor um, distinction to make. But I think it's kind of misleading as to what people think they're accomplishing by doing it. And the U.S. Composting Council, an organization that promotes composting nationally, agrees, calling out the products in a public letter, quote, marketing these devices as composters is confusing to the public and damaging to the composting industry. The question is, when confusing, crosses a legal so line. If a company is advertising a product as one thing and it is not that thing, then they may be liable under a state's consumer protection laws. Vitamix tells NBC News its products are not composters, but food waste recyclers, and that it's getting out of the countertop waste business altogether, saying it's made the strategic decision to exit the category by the end of the year. Lomi didn't respond to our request for comment, but told the New York Times in a story on the topic that its device produced pre-compost, or a nutrient-rich soil amendment. The soil conditions for plants to grow require the right balance of nitrogen, phosphorus, acidity. President of food recycling company Mill, Harry Tannenbaum, says the difference for you, the consumer, is that putting a big pile of the material from these dehydrators directly onto your plants at home could cause the soil to rot and attract pests when watered. One thing we are incredibly clear about is that what comes out of Mill isn't compost. And after grinding down your food waste, Mill even offers a program to have your grounds picked up and sent to farms for things like chicken feed, where it could be more helpful. In markets where cities don't have curbside programs, we've been able to find farmers who are super excited to tap into these nutrients and get them back to farms. Recycling your food is a great first step, but sometimes you got to get your hands dirty to see the true fruits of your labor. Vicki Wynn, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.